I'm just going to open up the text, amen, and we are going to go deep into it. The title of my message today is Preserving the Royal Seed, Preserving the Royal Seed, amen. Hallelujah. You as a woman are to preserve the royal seed. You are to preserve the royal seed. It shouldn't get killed. Amen. It shouldn't be destroyed. It is the duty of a woman to preserve a royal seed. And I'm going to take you to the word of the Lord. Exodus 2 verse 2. Amen. And you are going to see the, the position of women. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm talking to you about the birth of Moses. The Bible says that in Exodus 2 verse 1 that they went a man of the house of Levi and he took to a wife a daughter of Levi. And this man and this woman were in bondage. They were in, in Egypt. Amen. And they were going through so much storm, so much toil, so much affliction. But here we see that they get together. Hallelujah. And they stand together as husband and wife. In the midst of bondage, in the midst of, of affliction, and in the midst of warfare, are you able to stand with your partner? Are you able to stand with your husband? Or is your husband able to stand with you? We see that it is in the midst of warfare that that a man of the house of Levi took a wife of the daughter of Levi. They were evenly yoked. Amen. Why? Because in order for a royal seed to be produced, hallelujah, you have to be evenly yoked. The Bible says in Exodus 2 verse 2 that the woman conceived. We know in the story that Pharaoh was, was so, so disturbed by the way the, 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 the Hebrews were waxing and growing stronger by the day. They were constantly multiplying and he says, if we do not deal with the royal seed, if we do not deal with the royal seed of, of the Israelites, then they are going to overtake us. The Bible says that he then sent out midwives to go and deal with the women that were getting ready to birth forth. One of these women was Moses' mother of the tribe of Levi. A woman from the tribe of Levi represents the priesthood. So this is not just an ordinary woman, but this is a woman of God. Are there any women of God? God on the feet that know the word, walk in the word, speak the word. Hallelujah. I posted on my private page earlier, praise the Lord. It is your mouth that will determine whether you are going to grab the opportunity that is coming in this season or, or whether you are going to kill it. Your mouth can either produce life or death. Hallelujah. This woman was from a priesthood family. She knew how to use her mouth. She knew how to speak the word. Hallelujah. We see that the midwives are watching. Hallelujah. The midwives were in the room. Amen. And they are watching this woman from Levi producing her royal seed. A royal seed that was going to take the children of Israel out of Egypt. A royal seed that was going to walk into the house of Pharaoh and say, Thus saith the Lord, let my people go. God was going to put him in training. Hallelujah. He would have entered into Pharaoh's house when he's a child, learning the ways of the enemy, the strategy of the enemy, learning everything, the weaknesses and strengths of the enemy. But he was a royal seed called for such a time as that to bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. The Bible says and the woman conceived. Amen. Now she is holding the royal seed. And this is a son. Praise God. And when she saw that he was a goodly child because the enemy kept on fighting and the enemy kept on blocking, she decided to hide this royal seed three months. Amen. And when she could no longer hide him, she took him an, an ark of bulrushes, daubed it with slime and peach, and put the child therein. She put the seed therein. She put the royal seed in the ark. Hallelujah. What we know, beloveds of God, through this story is every royal seed should be positioned in the ark before it reaches the palace. Hallelujah. You take the seed to the ark. From the ark, the, the seed will enter into the palace. And from the palace, hallelujah, the seed will lead others through into the promise. Praise the Lord. Lord. And so we see that now the child is in the ark. She laid the, the laid it in the flags by the river's brink, and his sister stood afar off. Hallelujah! To see what would happen to him. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river. And the maidens walked along by the riverside, and when they saw the ark among the flags, she sent to a maid to go and fetch it. And when she had opened it, when she opened it, Hallelujah! Praise be to God, she saw the royal seed. When she opened the ark, 
she saw the royal seed and the babe began to weep amen and she had compassion on him and she says this is one of the hebrews children this is the seed this is a seed hallelujah and she says i'm going to take this seed into the palace because a royal seed always ends up in the palace beloveds of god hallelujah a royal seed is called for the palace and she says this is an israelite child but because moses was royalty she says i'm taking him into the palace hallelujah a seed that is royal is meant for the palace are you hearing me today so we see moses mother hid moses amen but there came a time where moses had to be revealed she hid the seed the seed had to be revealed at a later time second kings chapter 11 hallelujah this is a woman that not many people speak about, but she is one of the most powerful women in the Bible. Hallelujah. This woman is a royal seed carrier, and I'm going to teach you about her tonight. Amen. Her name, hallelujah, praise be the Lord, is Joesheba. Joesheba. Hallelujah. Have you heard of her? She is one of the most powerful women in the word of God because she knew how to carry the royal seed. Are you hearing me? The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 11, verse 1, that when Atalia, the mother of Isaiah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and she destroyed all the seed royal. This woman was a woman of witchcraft. Are you hearing me today? She was created to destroy the royal seed. Which seed was she looking for to destroy the lineage of David, the lineage in which Jesus Christ would come? She was trying to shut down the royal seed, hallelujah, in order for our Lord and Savior not to come. So we see that Atalia, the mother of Isaiah, saw that her son was dead and she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. Why I said that this woman Jehoshiba is one of the most powerful women in the Bible is because the Bible says in 2 Kings 11 verse 2, but Jehoshiba, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Isaiah, took Joash, one of the seed royals, hallelujah, she took Joash, the son of Isaiah, and stole him, hallelujah, from among the king's sons that were slain, ha, hallelujah, she stole the royal seed, she says, no, the royal seed cannot be slain, it cannot be destroyed, because this is the lineage of David, and we see, she took him and she hid him, there is a time for the royal seed to be hidden and there is a time for the royal seed to come forth. We see that Jehoshiba hid the royal seed, hallelujah, from the time he was one year old until the time he was seven. The Bible says, and he was with her hidden in the house of the Lord. Moses was hidden in the ark. The ark represents the tabernacle of God. The ark represents the presence of God. And here we see that Jehoshiba has now hidden the seed of the king hallelujah the royal seed in the house of the lord hallelujah the time of hiding the seed is the time of the presence of the lord the time where the seed needs to be impacted by god hallelujah and then we see beloveds of god in the seventh year Jehoiada sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds with the captains and the guard and brought them to him into the house of the lord where this royal seed was been raised up now this royal seed is seven years old and he made a covenant with him and took an oath with him hallelujah that the seed hallelujah this witch tried to destroy him is the same seed that is going to take her place and he commanded them saying this is the thing that you shall do a third of you shall enter in on, to, on the sabbath shall you be even the keepers of the watch of the king's house they were watching the seed they were watching the seed seven years old royal seed about to be made king about to sit on the throne i said moses went from the ark to the palace and here we see hallelujah that this young royal seed is about to move from the temple of god into the palace hallelujah and we see beloved of god they are keepers watching over the seed they are keepers watching over the royal seed hallelujah and so beloveds of god the bible says you shall compass the king round about hallelujah every man with weapons in his hand hallelujah and be he 
with the king as he goes out and he comes in. There is protection on this royal seed. And the captains over the hundreds did according to all that Johanna said. We are protecting the seed. We are watching over the seed. Hallelujah. And the captains over the hundreds did, did the priest give king David spears and shields. Hallelujah. They were in the temple of the Lord. And here we see now they're getting ready to deal with witchcraft. They're getting ready to deal with Athalia. When she heard the noise of the garden of the people, she came to the people into the temple of the Lord. What a big mistake for witchcraft to enter into the temple of the Lord. Hallelujah. And when she looked, behold the king, the king that she wanted to destroy, the seed of the king, the royal seed that she wanted to bring down, the king was there. Hallelujah. And Atalia began to tear her clothes and she began to cry treason, treason. And the more she cried treason, treason. The more they lifted up, hallelujah, this young seed, this royal seed and declared him as king. They laid hands on him, hallelujah. And she went out by the way of the horses. They said, you cannot kill this witchcraft in the house of the Lord. Take her out of the house. Take her out of the out of the house of the Lord and destroy her. And in her stead, the thing she wanted to destroy, put that thing on the throne. The Bible says in 2 Kings 11 verse 21. Um, seven years old was Joash. Hallelujah. When he began to reign. Um, hallelujah. The seed that was nearly destroyed now. Hallelujah. is beginning to reign. Praise be to God. Um, from the house of the Lord. The seed. Hallelujah. Into the palace. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me today? Praise the Lord. The Bible says. Praise the Lord. That soul seed was the seed of royalty. It was royal seed, hallelujah. And they wanted to destroy all of King Saul's seed. But there came a time, hallelujah, that a woman began to grab. Are you seeing it's women? It's women that are hiding seed. The time they want to kill Saul's um, uh, children, they take the woman, grabs a hold, the maid grabs a hold of Mahibosheth, hallelujah. And by mistake, she cripples him. The seed may be crippled, but it's still royal. Are you hearing me today? The woman knew that I have to hide this royal seed. I have to hide the seed, hallelujah. I have to keep the seed and cover the seed because there's going to come a time where King David is going to call. Is there anybody of the house of Saul that can come and sit at my table? That can come sit, hallelujah, in the presence of the king. Hallelujah. So we see that a woman hid Mahibosheth. The Bible says, hallelujah, in the book of Ruth, power of God, that there came an angel and stood before Mary the virgin and said, hallelujah, blessed are you amongst all women for God has highly favored you the Holy Spirit is gonna overpower you how do you know that you are about to carry a royal seed when the Holy Spirit comes and overshadows you and the Holy Spirit comes to overpower you hallelujah he says you are going to carry a seed this is no extraordinary seed this is an extraordinary seed hallelujah and the Bible says that Mary conceived she began to carry the word the word who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, hallelujah, that there came a time where King Herod began to rise up and say every royal seed must die. And the woman, hallelujah, had to run and hide the seed. Are you hearing me today? She had to hide the seed for a season. Herod was looking to destroy the royal seed. But the devil is a liar. Every royal seed, woman that you have been carrying, shall not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus we declare. She hid him for a season. He came back hallelujah. He came back stronger. He came back wiser. He came back in glory. He came back in power. Began to cast out devils. Began to heal the sick. Began to cleanse the lepers. Began to raise the dead. Began to open blind eyes. And he walked upon this earth. He died for you. Was buried for you. The sea was hidden for a season but now the seed is seated in the present and the kingdom of God he is seated in heavenly places beloved of God hallelujah we see that it happened with Mary so my question to every woman that is carrying royal seed tonight hallelujah let me switch off the music because this is the question 
I was told to ask you, hallelujah. This is the question I was told to ask every woman. Every woman under the sound of my voice is carrying royal, royal seed because you are a part of the kingdom of God. You are part, hallelujah, of the kingdom of God. That means that you are royalty. That means that you can only produce royal seed. Hallelujah. What is royal seed, woman of God? What is that thing that you have been carrying? You have been hiding your royal seed. Are you hearing me? You have been hiding your royal seed because you were afraid that somebody was going to come and crush it. You were afraid that somebody was going to destroy it. You were afraid that if I open up, hallelujah, and show forth my seed, Seed. If I open up, hallelujah, somebody's going to kill it. Somebody's going to kill my dream. Somebody's going to kill this vision. Somebody's going to kill my passion. Your royal seed is your dream. Your royal seed is your passion. Your royal seed, hallelujah, is your vision. Are you hearing me today? You have been carrying something royal and you have been hiding it. You have been covering it in the presence of the Lord, praying about it, speaking to it, ministering to it, prophetically talking over it, uttering over it. Hallelujah. But this is a season um, that God is asking you, um, woman that is carrying the royal seed, um, when are you bringing it forth? Um, when are you bringing it forth to the palace? Um, when are you bringing the royal seed out? Um, when are you coming out with the royal seed? Um, are you hearing me, woman of God? Um, every woman under the sound of my voice, um, you haven't been empty handed in 2019. Um, you may have been drained, but you are carrying a royal seed. Um, you you may have been dismayed, but you were carrying a royal seed. You may have been discouraged, but you were carrying a royal seed. I said you are carrying something, something that has been ordained by God, something that has been impacted by God, and something that has been imparted by God. You have been carrying it, woman of God. Once you carry it, you cannot let it go. And this is a season that the Lord is saying, it's time to reveal the seed. It's time for royalty to come forth. He has dealt with the Herods. Um, he has dealt with the Italians. Um, he has dealt with the Pharaohs. Um, he has defeated them, woman of God. Um, what are you waiting for? Um, come forth with that seed. Um, come forth with that dream. Um, come forth with that business. Um, come forth with that book. Um, come forth with that ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare. Hallelujah. We see all the women that I was speaking about in the word of God. One season there to hide the seed. Another season it had to come forth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ha. It's, the Bible says, beloved of God, that something cannot remain hidden. <clears throat> if you put a candle under the bed, a candle was not created for under the bed. You were not created to be under. You were created to be above and not below. Hallelujah. You were created for higher places. You were created for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The dream that you think is small is not small. It does not mean because it is small in your eyes that it is small in the eyes of God. When you look at all these children, they were small, but they were going to bring down demonic altars. They were going to bring generations out of poverty. Do you know the royal seed that you are carrying is not only for you, but for the future generation. The seed that you are carrying is a global seed. Are you hearing me today? A global seed, a kingdom seed. Amen. A seed that is going to impact nations to come. So why? Why are you hiding it? Why are you hiding it? We want to see the seed. We want to see the royal seed coming into the palace. Hallelujah. We want to see the royal seed in the kingdom of God. The reason why God gave you a royal seed. Huh? So you can make a difference on this earth. Hallelujah. So that you can move on this earth. Hallelujah. And make an impact and change lives. Transformation agent. Pay setter. Trailblazer. Territorial commander. Are you hearing me, woman of God? Even if you are depressed, you are carrying a royal seed. Even if you are suicidal, you are carrying a royal seed. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. All these women carried the seed. And they thought it was over, but they came a time. They came a time where they said, is there anyone from this house? Hallelujah. So that we can honor. It's time for your seed to be resurrected in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to just tell you something, beloveds of God. Uh, when I first started ministry, when I started ministry, I didn't really think that um, the ministry would go far. 
Let me tell you the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. I understood I was carrying a seed, but I thought that this was just an ordinary seed. Amen. I thought I was called for my community. Amen. Are you hearing me today? I didn't think I was called for nations. I didn't think I was called internationally. And so I thought this is an ordinary seed. Many women on this feed are thinking that the thing that they are carrying is ordinary, when in fact it's extraordinary. Are you hearing me today? And for years after year after year, I would receive invitations to go and preach all over the world. I would receive invitations to go here. But I had conditioned my mind to think that I am an ordinary seed. I am carrying an ordinary seed. So throughout my life, I was holding this ministry, presenting it to God. The Bible says that when you reach eldership, are you hearing me today? There's such a thing as eldership. When you reach maturity, you have to go before the throne room of God and remove your crown, isn't it? And before, put it before God. A royal seed, when you take off your crown, to me, it was my ministry, isn't it? Our God's ministry. So I would take off my ordinary crown, which I thought was ordinary, and I would always constantly present it before the throne of God that, God, are you happy with the ministry? God, am I in order? God, I don't want to lose relationship with you. I don't want to sell my inheritance for a bowl of soup. Lord, there is my ordinary ministry. It's for my community. So they, I would constantly for maybe seven years presenting hallelujah, what I thought was ordinary before the throne of God. Here, Lord, here, Lord. It's ordinary, God. I'm not doing much. Amen. I'm not doing much in, the, in it, but I know it's a seed and I know it's, it's, a, it's something ordinary and I thank you, Lord, for it. God then had to correct the error. He said, this thing, this seed that I have given you, this ministry that I have given you is not ordinary. It's extraordinary. It's royal because I have put my hand on it and anything that I have put my hand on becomes royalty. What am I trying to say? God has put his hand hmm, on somebody's royal seed. Hallelujah. And as I said, it's time for that seed to grow. It's time for that seed to blossom. When I had the, the renewing of the mind, when, when God showed me this, my mind opened, beloved of God, and automatically I went global. Are you hearing me today? I pray for a woman under the sound of my voice. I declare global blessing over your life in Jesus' mighty name. We pray a global blessing, a global blessing over your life. Hallelujah. A blessing that has no boundaries, a blessing that has no borders, a blessing, hallelujah, that will take your royal seed to the next level. Hallelujah. That will take your royal seed. Um, there are women that are carrying businesses that seem to be uh, uh, for ordinary, isn't it? That everyone seems to be doing but when God's hand comes on it or when he releases, releases the angels and says blessed are you amongst women God is saying you're gonna carry a royal seed hallelujah your life is gonna change forever are you hearing me today so no matter how you feel your feelings should never dictate what your mouth speaks your mouth is to govern what is spoken in the atmosphere it should not be moved or shaken by the way that you feel it should be moved or shaken by your royal seed. That this seed is going to grow. This seed is going to bring down altars. This seed is going to multiply. This seed is going to increase and elevate. Are you hearing me today, woman of God? Hallelujah. So there are some women whose ministries have been sitting. They have been seat warming. Amen. They have been hidden for too long. God is removing the covers. He's, you can't hide anymore. When Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter came, her servants had to remove the cover of the ark to reveal the royal seed. Are you hearing me today? Hallelujah. God is removing all the covers so that you can come forth. It's not about what prophetess can do and it's not about what your pastor or your teacher can do or your apostle or prophet can do. It's now in this generation is, what can I do with the royal seed that God has given me? Are you focused on what is your seed? That is what you should ask yourself. Lord, what is my royal seed? What is my royal seed? Because many people are focusing on different things at the same time. What is the royal? What is the royal seed of all the things that you are focusing on? Hallelujah. And how can I grow it? You have to water that seed. Amen. You have to water it with the word. You have to speak it into existence. All the papers that you have packed away in, the, in your cupboard there, hallelujah, in the suitcase. 
bring them down hallelujah and start to speak into them hallelujah you have to water the seed act on the seed though they they saw the seed uncovered the seed took the seed into the palace hallelujah they acted on the seed are you hearing me today beloved of god so that is my word for every woman under the sound of my voice you are carrying a royal seed what are you going to do with it amen in this generation you can't keep hiding it it's going to get too big and then what hallelujah so i pray for your royal seeds in the mighty name of jesus your dreams your visions hallelujah praise the lord may god open every door of opportunity unto you in the name of jesus to take that 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 royal seed to the next level hallelujah when rebecca the bible says that abraham sent his servant to go and look for a wife for isaac and the time that he is coming to the well hallelujah that is the same time rebecca is coming that means it was a season of divine appointment hallelujah as she came forth hallelujah she is carrying something she is carrying a royal seed amen she is carrying her bucket amen hallelujah saying it's time now for my life to go to the next level and as she begins to speak to Abraham's servant, we see, beloveds of God, hallelujah, that he begins to bless her financially. When you activate your royal seed, you, you start to walk in financial favor. Are you hearing me today? You'll start to walk in great financial favor. He starts to bless her. He gives her jewelry. He gives her everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then, praise God, he then takes her back to Isaac as a wife. Amen. When your royal seed is activated, Everything begins to become attracted to you. You attract favor wherever you go. Uncommon and unusual favor, woman of God. Hallelujah. It's not about how you look. It's not about who you are. It's about who God is in your life. If he says you are royalty, you are royalty. The Bible says that you are a king and a priest, a royal priesthood, a peculiar generation. That means that if you run with that word, hallelujah, automatically, praise be to God, hallelujah, your crown, your royal seed, you, when you present it before God to say, Lord, here is my book. I have finally written my book, God. Look, page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six, page seven. Lord, I am presenting it. I am casting my crown before you. What do you think of my book, God? Hallelujah. I have brought it into the palace. Yeah, Lord, here is my business. I have been employing. Hallelujah. Many families have been fed through my business. Hallelujah. I am casting my business before you. Look at this crown. Hallelujah. Look at, at, at the wonderful work that it is doing in the kingdom of God. It is all about the royal seed coming forth. You have been carrying it. You have been carrying it for so, for so long. You have been carrying it for so long. Hallelujah. Imagine if I was still carrying the seed. I would have still been in, in a little community, still ministering to, to, you know, a few people. Are you hearing me today? But I said, I'm carrying my seed to the palace. I'm carrying my seed to the kingdom. Praise the Lord. A seed, let me tell you, a seed can become anything. If you take a seed, if you don't know what it is, isn't it? If you take it and you put it in the ground and you start to water it, it will start to grow. And then you'll start to identify it and say, wow, okay, this is an orange tree. Or wow, ah, this is a chili tree. Isn't it, beloveds of God? Sometimes you won't be knowing the seed that you are carrying. You don't know your calling. You don't know what you were born to do. But once you, 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 you start to water it, you will then begin to see it grow. Is it making sense? And once it grows, you are able to identify, oh, it's an avocado tree. Are you hearing me today? Hallelujah. Even if you don't know the seed that you're carrying, as long as you know it's a seed, start watering it. Are we together? Hallelujah. It will begin to grow. If you know that your seed is a ministry, okay, start to water that ministry. Start to go and find out how, what do I do, hallelujah, to, to, to open and register my ministry. How am I going to win souls for the kingdom of God? What do I do? Amen. How do I grow? Can I get a mentor to help me to push this thing? Amen. Hallelujah. Until you say, wow, look at my, my, my seed, my royal seed. <laughs> are you hearing me today there are too many women just carrying the seed but not taking it to the palace God wants to see the woman with the alabaster box was carrying her seed are you hearing me today that was her ministry 
all her pain, all her tears was about to be converted into the ministry of the Lord. Because the Bible says that she does not end at the feet of Jesus. She now begins to minister to Jesus with the substance. So she was carrying the seed. She didn't know how to use it, but she says, I'm taking it into the presence of the Lord. I'm taking it to the kingdom of God. I'm taking it to the king. And I'm going to present it to the king. My alabaster box. Amen. When I break this thing before God in the kingdom hallelujah i know my calling is going to be activated and we see that from that day she never leaves the side of jesus hallelujah because now her royal seed had blossomed she is now ministering amen and not only a follower of christ but ministering to him are you hearing me today she didn't stop ministering at his feet she continued to minister to him as he moved from city to city to city that was her royal seed. What is your royal seed? What is the reason why Gideon was so distressed? He's saying, whenever I try to water my seed and plant my seed, the enemy comes and eats it. You see? So the angel of God had to be dispatched to say, no, they will eat no more. Fight this battle till you see your royal seed made manifest.